driving, so I just wanted to get on here and hop on here and give y'all a quick word. When your co-workers is getting on your nerves, take a lot of bathroom breaks. Don't bust them in the head. Workers is getting on your nerves. Just take a whole bunch of bathroom breaks. <clears throat> Girl, them motherfucking co workers over here at this new job, honey. I'm telling you, these co workers ain't nothing nice. You hear me? One talking too much shit, the other one flicking her goddamn tongue all day. I'm just going to get it out here real quick just in case something go wrong because you know me, I can't really I pick up something so quick I have to take a lot of bathroom breaks everybody that's, co when your co-workers get on your nerves they going to get on your nerves they going to be copying your hairdos trying to be all in the video mad because you the star you know how they do girl, when your co-workers get on your nerves take a lot of bathroom breaks I took about 15 motherfucking bathroom breaks yesterday. Okay, then they start taking bathroom breaks. Girl, I'm telling you, I'm about to, I'm about to take some um, <laughs> Excedrin today. The day was so goddamn long. When y'all go watch this shit, though, y'all gonna be crying. I promise you gonna cry. And just forgive me, forgive me, for, try to forgive us. We we learning each other, and we already on the second day, and I'm already taking 15 bathroom breaks. This is why I ain't got no job. I knew this is why Mr. Sappho don't let me go to work, because he know if I go to work, my personality don't mix with everybody's personality. It'd be five minutes, and I'd be ready to pick up something and just... You know what I'm saying? And they ain't got no medication for that. Y'all know they ain't got no medication for knocking knock a hole in the head. They ain't got no medication for that. If y'all got some medication for it, let me know what y'all take on y'all jobs. Because, honey, this job is about bad as Walmart. I feel like I'm at Walmart. I ain't lying, y'all. I feel like I'm at Walmart. <laughs> I took about 15 bathroom breaks. And don't tell them I'm getting over here airing y'all because y'all know I put everything on Instagram. I'm sorry. I took about 15 bathroom breaks on them motherfuckers yesterday. Girl, I don't know how y'all do them motherfucking co-workers, especially if you at Walmart. All I can tell you is just take a whole bunch of fucking breaks, bitch. That's all I did. I kept, I kept taking a break and I called my husband. I do a little couple of prayers. I go back out there. The devil be right there on me, y'all. I almost couldn't shake him yesterday. Cause this motherfucker said something that just pissed me all the fucking way off. Like, girl, I'm not the person you're supposed to be interviewing. should have been aunties or bitches because at this point I'm like on the second day and I need some medication I mean I could see where it could probably you know potentially get better because we are all grown women if I don't jump up and like you know what I'm saying do what I normally do on my job this is why my husband don't let me go to work because he's scared I'm going to catch a case he don't, don't want me to go to work y'all he said no you don't do well, you don't play well with others, and now I know why. I don't play well with others. It get hot, that light on you, everybody you know, probably on a uh, period, or I don't get no period. They probably get periods still. I'm over there going through menopause. I'm hot. I already know I'm cranky when I'm hot. Now, y'all know when y'all get three of y'all craziest aunties to sit on the couch sometimes, and especially when they have a couple drinks, it don't go as planned. It don't go as planned. I love all my sisters.
sisters dearly, but we can't sit on no motherfucking couch for no 12 goddamn hours. We can't do it. Somebody gonna go to jail. I rebuke that in the name of Jesus and that is gonna, that is gonna be me, but I just know why Mr. Saffold said, that. see, that's why I don't want you to get no job because you don't play well with others. I never knew that. Girl, all I can tell you is I'm scared, they scared, the guests were scared, we was all scared. Okay. So if y'all got some medication, I know people that work at Walmart. Where are my Walmart workers at? Because that's what I feel like I was working at Walmart yesterday. I felt like I was in motherfucking aisle 13 for 13 hours. So all I'm going to need is some medication. Thank you for the congratulations on the show, baby. We, we, just, we just venting right now. That's all. We just having a little venting while I'm dry. I couldn't even stay at the hotel last night. I had to take my ass home to my husband and get some because I just I just couldn't do it. What do y'all do after 13 hours at Walmart and have to get up and go back the next day? Because I want to know. I just really want to know what y'all, what kind of medication y'all taking. At this point, I know I'm going to need some. Smoke a blunt. That's why they, I don't know how to smoke no weed. I'm going to go to sleep on the damn couch. I'm going to get fired on my day off. I can't do the smoking. I got to do something else. I'm already almost 200 pounds. All I do when I smoke weed is eat and go to sleep. Congratulations to you and Callie. I ain't talking to Callie right now either. <clears throat> but congratulations to me. And you can tell her congratulations on her page. Take a drink. Girl, I, I took a couple drinks and then all of a sudden I just kept seeing myself just jumping over across that table. So I don't know if the drinks is going to work. Cocaine? That's what you take to go to Walmart? Girl, you spending the whole Walmart check on the cocaine. I ain't trying to spend up my check now. Callie running around town with the ops. You feel me? Like, the bitch didn't even invite me to your birthday dinner worried about her she didn't even Callie had a chef pull up and her friend was supposed to invite her friends and family and she said she didn't invite me because me and Callie was arguing that day if anybody know us that know us know me and Callie might argue in the morning and be in the hot tub laughing by six o'clock so you just didn't invite me because you acting like you my daughter's nigga uh, some weird shit I don't know what they got going on over there but that's a whole nother when I get off this job I'll figure it out that's a whole nother story. But how you know, how you have a personal chef pull up for my daughter and don't invite her mother? And that's why you're not doing my makeup, because that was strike three. <laughs> Who the fuck has a party for my only daughter and don't invite me? Y'all see what I'm going through? But then they get on here and be like, she's so crazy. She don't act, she don't know how to act in public. She don't she don't act right. You know, then they blame it on me. Like, girl, I already see your snake ass when you didn't invite me to my daughter's birthday. Okay? Had a personal chef and, oh, y'all wasn't speaking, so I didn't know if she wanted you to come. Bitch, my daughter gonna always want me to come. And when you don't act right and I need to pull up, I'm gonna pull up. I was there because Callie called me like, Mom, why aren't you here? I'm having a personal chef. Why aren't you here? I said I knew nothing about it. She looked over at Selena and said, mm, strike one, bitch. But I was already on strike two. Okay? So she that was her strike one. I seen it in her face like, why you ain't invite my mom? Oh, okay. Uh, but I know how Callie do. She mental notes everything. But I don't mental no shit. I, I said because your, uh, your new booty bitch didn't invite me. And I seen the look on Callie's face when she looked over at her. I know that look. I know my kids. I don't know where, why y'all say stuff like that. Did y'all know that? I, I think, don't quote me on this, but allegedly I heard that um, Lenny's daddy is a Christian pastor. Did y'all know that? I'm have to, somebody let me know if that's true. I might be working for a Christian network and not even knowing it. Her 
say you're nobody important you're gonna be an extra forever <laughs> well just so you know bitch i'm the ep on this project <laughs> the head bitch in charge okay so you better go ask somebody read the credits do what you gotta do okay i'm on a different level now but don't trip i would go do some extra work right motherfucking now if these bitches get on my job when i get to work today i will pull I will go do me some extra work with a smile on my face, honey, and still collect that SAG check because I am SAG. And I'm at my rate is still two, two bills to pull up as an extra. So, yes, ma'am, I will still pull up to do some extra work. So y'all go on over there and tell 50 them at Empire, whatever they're doing right now, I will pull up as an extra. Just have my tube ready. But on this project, baby girl, I'm the boss. Stay humble. Oh, I'ma stay humble, but I'ma talk my shit. I'ma stay humble, but I'ma come I'm correct you. I'm definitely going to correct you. You're going to get corrected whether you like it or not. You got the wrong person. I'm happy broke. I'm happy broke and rich. It don't matter to me. I'm happy broke and rich. Y'all better tell them about me. Can you say hi to Lords? Hey, Lords. Be a bishop, so what they mean, Zeus started a Christian station. Oh, he's a bishop. Okay. How you know that? That's what I'm trying to find out. You know, sometimes you be working for the Crips, the Bloods, the Christians, the Muslims. Like, who are we working for? What, where, where's their background? I want to know. Somebody let us know. They sleeping on you. Look at you now. They was sleep, girl. I was slide, slithering through, honey. I was sliding through them. I was busting through them. The slid through, huh? They should have known. Blue is my son. Not my daddy. He came on my coochie. Come on now. Y'all should have been putting two and two together. I kept saying, it's a plan. It's a plan. I didn't even hide shit sugar-coated. I had the shit on the table the whole time. Y'all motherfuckers couldn't find it. On the table. On the goddamn table. I, I'm telling y'all. Y'all love <laughs> your son don't fuck with you. I bet he gonna fuck with me now. <laughs> I'm the boss now. <laughs> Tell the gatekeeper I got the keys. <laughs> the mama in charge. Don't worry, y'all. I set his his little share to the side. His little six eye checks. His little I set his stuff to the side. I should have stole it, but I didn't. I ain't that type of mama. Blue is the reason you're in the position that you're in. Blue is here because I bent over and shitted him out. <laughs> what the fuck part are you missing? Blue is here because I bent over and shit him out. And then I fed him every day and I raised whispered sweet nothings in his ear and taught him how to get out here and get this bag. What the fuck is wrong with you people? That's my son. Do you know what a son is? <laughs> Do you know what a son is? A little jit? You know what a son is? Oh, Jesus. washed all the makeup off of it when I washed my face. She got they gotta redo the, the front front part. Y'all know what it is. You've been the head bitch in charge. Listen, come on and tell them because they still sleep. They still fucking sleep. I got another special surprise for y'all. By the end of the week.
seat. Y'all gonna really like this. Nobody on Zeus is rich but lemon pepper. I'm gonna tell y'all a secret about that. If somebody give you some money and you don't flip it and make yourself rich, that's your own motherfucking fault. Now you heard what I said. If somebody give you an opportunity and you don't make yourself rich, that's your own motherfucking fault. Now keep watching. I'm gonna keep showing. I'm gonna keep sharing my blueprint that I blue gave to Blueface with y'all. I'm gonna keep sharing it on my show. So if y'all wanna keep watching how I make these moves out here all the way till I get ready to sit on my ass and retire and get all my grandkids and go to Africa, y'all can go watch every move I make. All four hundred thousand of y'all can watch me make these moves on Six Eye. I'm gonna make a move every motherfucking Friday. Every Friday, you're going to see a new move like, God damn. God damn. That bitch about to hit a billion. Every Friday. Watch what I tell you. I done blocked everybody. I don't get no phone calls. I don't get no distractions coming through. I don't got no phone calls coming through on my phone. I'm in war mode. Now, watch how this turn out. And I'm going to share the blueprint. I'm going to share the blueprint. Show y'all how to eat. Okay, show y'all how to eat. So get your notepads out. 